Hey what's up guys this is Shukesh. Well I have reviewed PDF element for Windows and Mac before and it's a very very capable software but this time I have for you PDF element for iOS that is for your iPhones and the good news is it's a totally free software there is nothing to pay it's the full version and to my experience PDF element is by far the best PDF editing software I personally use this all the time and uh, let me introduce the software and give you a detailed tutorial of this app so that you can get an idea about the capability and the options of this application. So this is the UI and there are three ways you can load or open PDFs into PDF element using the camera, using Wi-Fi and also cloud. Now before I show you the camera and the cloud, let me show you how using the Wi-Fi you can transfer PDFs from your computer to your iPad or iPhone. Now here you have an address and let's open this address on my computer. So this is what it looks like. I can upload files from my computer just like so. It's very very simple. I can also create a folder and also delete existing documents. Now one thing you need to remember, your iPhone or iPad and your computer should be in the same Wi-Fi network. Now let's stop the transfer and there you go, noise pollution.pdf is on your iPad. So let's open it and it's ready for edit. Next using the camera you can just take an image of any book or any object and convert that image into a PDF file. Well, there you go, the image has been captured. Now, this iOS version of PDF element does not support OCR, that is optical character recognition as of now, but you can crop or edit this image and create a PDF file out of it. Now, there are a couple of special effects you can apply to make the text clearer and easier to read. You can also rotate the image and of course, you can crop the text area. With the next option that is cloud, you can load PDF file from your iCloud drive and also your Dropbox, your Google drive and for the PDF files in your iPad or iPhone, click on iCloud drive and here on my iPad, you will find all the PDFs you have on your phone. There you go, it's as easy as that. In addition to these three options, you can also open that is copy PDF files into PDF element from a web browser, your Facebook application, etc. Just click copy to PDF element and this will open in your PDF element software. Now copy, annotate, convert, do anything you want with this PDF file, save it and share it with your colleagues, your boss or your friends. Next, let me talk about what are the things you can do with this software. First of all, you can convert your PDF files into 9 different popular formats. Here you have the option along with some other options which I am gonna show you in a minute. There you have the 9 formats I have just told you. So you can convert your PDF document into Word, Excel, PowerPoint, any format you want. It's a very very handy feature and there won't be any quality or data loss. There you go, the conversion is complete and it's in the convert folder. Now the converted files can be opened in their respective softwares. Now you can rename the file, you can email, print, share and also upload the file to the cloud. Now guys, let me show you how you can edit a PDF file using this software PDF element. First of all, there are four options and the first one is for annotation. Once you click it, there will be some tools at the bottom of this page. The first one is for highlighting text. So once you click it and select any text, the text will be highlighted with color. Now the cool factor is you can change the color and also add notes. Now you can explain why you have highlighted the text with notes or you can just add the meaning of the text or anything you want. There you go the note I have just written. Now along with these tools there is also a button at the left. So once you disable the tools 
the PDF is not in editing mode and you can just scroll. But once you activate this and scroll, it will basically select the text and apply the effect you have selected. So you can select text just like so as well. The next one is the underline tool. So you can underline the text as you wish. And of course, you can change the color and add notes as I have shown before. Next, we have strike through. There is also a pencil tool so you can draw something and annotate, give directions, anything you want. Now this time also you can change the color of the strokes along with some additional options. You can change the thickness of the strokes as you wish. There is also an eraser tool to clear up the mess I have just made. You also get 4 different shape tools in this software. Next we also have a text box so you can put text anywhere on the PDF just like so. Now the text font, size, color, everything can be changed as you wish. The next tool is to put a sticky note anywhere on the PDF so you can add notes without highlighting any text. Now anybody can just click on this sticky note, click on open and read your comment. Next we have some stamps preloaded. So just click any of these and place them anywhere on the PDF file. You can move them and also add notes. Last but not the least, you can create handwritten signatures on your PDF element software. So just write down your signature and put it anywhere on the PDF file. You can change the color and also the thickness as you wish. Now just beside the annotation tool, you get the text editing tool that is it will scan the PDF and detect and convert the text into editable text. So there you go, you have all the paragraphs selected and if you just click anywhere on the text, you get the cursor to input the text. Now the fun part is the input text matches the original text both in font, color and size. So there won't be any type of editing needed. Now if you wish to change the font or size, you can just press and hold, select the text and there you have the options cut, copy, paste, font and you can change the attributes as you wish. It's as easy as that. You can also just click on these blue boxes and delete the whole paragraph just like so. With the next tool, you have a preview of all the pages which you can rearrange. You can also rotate any page if you wish. Just click on edit, select and rotate. You can extract any page or delete any page if you want. Now here on the home page, there is an additional option you might have noticed. You can move the PDFs. You can also merge two PDFs into one, which is I think really very useful. Guys, we are at the end of this tutorial and overall PDF element is the ultimate solution for PDF editing. So check the description below for the direct link. You can find this software on Apple App Store. It's a free software once again. So try this out. You won't be disappointed. That's all in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope it was helpful. This is Shukesh signing off. Have a nice day.